So, ladies and gentlemen, from 17th of June this year to, I see, 11th of July this year, Venus will be entering, uh, he will transit in the sign of Taurus, right? So, currently, he's in the sign of Aries, he or she, Venus. So, therefore, it's very crucial to understand this transit. Why? Because Venus rules the sign of Taurus. And I am looking at drikpanchang.com. So if you uh, if you see the chart for 18th, let's discuss a bit on that. So on 18th June, you see Moon and Saturn are in the sign of Aquarius. Then Jupiter and Mars are in the sign of Pisces. Rahu and Ketu are in Aries and Libra respectively. Mercury Venus are in Taurus. And uh, sun is, as expected, in the sign of Gemini, right? So, therefore, uh, now again, Venus is entering uh, the own sign. So, we know Venus has two signs. One is Libra, another is Taurus. But among them, Taurus represents uh, the own sign. Of course, Libra is also the own sign, but Libra is also the Mul Tricorn sign, right? Which is a more favorable position uh, for the planet Venus. But nonetheless, Venus rules Taurus and Venus does extremely well in the sign of Taurus. Okay. Now, what does it mean extremely well? Extremely well does it mean uh, that anybody have, who has Venus in Taurus, so Venus stays in Taurus you know, for 25 days, 26 days, roughly 27, depending on if it is direct or retrograde. Uh, so does it mean that anybody who has Venus in Taurus in the birth chart will have a great married life or anything that Venus represents? Well, not necessarily. Uh, but the inherent traits of Venus, which is um, to experience love and uh, relationships, to give and take, to experience beauty, joy, happiness, fulfillment, uh, passion, romance, creativity, beauty, uh, external charm, uh, attractiveness, uh, cooking, food, uh, fine dining, uh, jewelry, and all these things, right? Uh, the, the fancy stuff which Venus represents. The person can have an inherent, uh, a better inherent ability to experience and reciprocate with those things, right? But again, of course, if somebody has Venus in Taurus, like I'm uh, seeing in this chart for a Sagittarius rising, if somebody has Sagittarius rising and then Venus is in Taurus, but the problem is now he goes into the sixth house, right? So then it will still be challenging for relationships. Nonetheless, so this transit of Venus uh, into the sign of Taurus is important for us to understand our basic priorities in life, right? So whenever any planet transits, uh, the sign of Taurus. So you have to understand what is Taurus. Taurus is the second sign, right? Victory. <laughs> so what does the second house represent? The second house represents so many things. It represents the food that we eat. It represents our um, education, primary education. It represents our family. It represents the people that we believe are like our family. Second house also represents wealth. It represents the amount that we have finally, right? It's like the net worth. Combination of all our assets, that is also the second house. So the second house represents so many things, but the most important thing that the second house represents is our value system. Because what does the family put inside? The family puts the values inside a living being, right? human or even maybe for animals, right? So the second house also tells us our priorities because to the extent we value something, to that extent we prioritize something, right? Uh, as per law of physics or mathematics, the, uh, the, to the degree we uh, appreciate something, to that degree we value something, right? And to the degree we are knowledgeable about something, to that degree we appreciate something right provided that is something which is benefiting us okay so therefore when venus transits taurus it is a very good time for us to check the houses that venus represents right so venus could be your 
tenth lord, third lord, lagna lord, fifth lord, any lord, right? So depending on the houses, which now Venus will rule two houses in your chart as per your ascendant. So depending on the houses that Venus rules, there will be certain things which you might have to prioritize, right? Now what that is and um, what will it be static or dynamic, which is of course dynamic, uh, how that will be, that will depend on your horoscope. That, was, that will be different for every 7 million people, right? Uh, but you got to understand. So for example, if Venus is your 10th Lord, then you have to prioritize something related to your career, right? Now, when I say prioritize something related to your career, I don't mean to say prioritize your career. I don't mean to say that. What I don't mean to say is it doesn't mean that any, suppose the 10th floor transits Taurus and you have to forget everything and just go and have your career. No, it doesn't mean that. But it means within the profession, within those 8 to 12 hours or even 16 hours sometimes, <laughs> within those 8 to 12 hours of your work there is something which you will have to prioritize and the sign of Taurus also represents uh, long term consistency so you have to ask yourself if you want some change in your life depending on the houses that Venus rules in your chart you have to make certain uh, commitments you have to take certain decisions which you might not like right and uh, you may be, uh, you or rather you should force yourself to do certain things which you should do, even though you may not like, right? Therefore, when a planet transits Taurus, it is an incredible time to check what is the most important thing for me? What, in my opinion, is non-negotiable, right? And non-negotiable doesn't mean in the sense of like ego or arrogance. Oh, this is non-negotiable for me. It's, I won't give it. It's not like that. It is something which you know deep down inside that you must do regularly with effort, with a lot of patience. The word patience, see, Taurus is a sthira. Uh, it's it's a uh, adi sign, right? And uh, therefore, you need a lot of patience, right? So patience means that you understand that it is going to take time, but the results will be worth it, all right? The end result will be beautiful. So check your horoscope, check the houses that Venus rules in your chart, and then ask yourself, what is that regarding these two houses, which I know deep down inside that I should prioritize, right? For example, if Venus is your 10th Lord, then it would happen something related to your profession you are prioritizing. Maybe, you know, it can be anything depending on your other side. It could be like, you know, getting a particular training or getting a promotion or talking to your boss or having good relationships with your colleagues or yeah, doing some certification, Any anything it can be depending on your horoscope, right? Depending on your dashas, depending on uh, the other transits, depending on your ascendant, right? So therefore, there is something which you have to prioritize for long-term gains, right? So therefore, understand what is required, do that which is needful, and do not run away from things. Because what you do when Venus enters Taurus will set the tone for the transit of Venus in the rest of the zodiac signs. Because now is the time that you can develop your value system. Now is the time you can improve your value system right now is the time you can radically change your uh, belief systems right and if you do it uh, you will get very good rewards as i'm saying again and again right so you have to have the patience cultivate patience right many times people ask me you know sir how do i cultivate patience and then i, I, I ask them so what do you do in the day why don't you have patience and they're like Oh, we are scrolling Instagram. You know, we are watching reels in Instagram, right? 10 second, 15 second, 20 second, 30 second, or five second reels. You know, you are watching them. And they are programming your mind to think that everything is available for no price. No, that's not the way how the world works. Even many times people tell me that, why do you make such long videos? Why can't you make, you know, 
short videos, you know, 30 second videos. What happens? Just 30 seconds, that's it, right? And then people tell me, that, oh, uh, sir, can you give me a career consultation? And I'm like, if you can't, if you want to know astrology in 30 seconds, how, what makes you think that you can uh, put uh, maybe eight hours in a day in your profession, right? Of course, I'm not saying that uh, you should not make reels. But what I'm trying to tell you is if you are indulging in anything which gives very quick pleasure, which gives very quick results, right? Then what happens is you, that same behavior of yours will carry on from that particular area of life to all the other areas of life, right? Such people, they get bored very easily whenever they are talking to somebody. You can very clearly see them. They are helplessly yawning when they are talking to somebody. Why? Because they run out of topics they, because they, they become so superficial that they cannot connect with anybody, right? Because they just want something new, you know. Oh, which country invaded which country, you know, some spicy masala news they want, right? Who is having an affair with whom? Uh, who is running into uh, uh, some kind of controversy? Who is running into some kind of scandal? Where where was there a sex scandal? Where was there a financial scandal? You know, when uh, when did somebody run away? When did somebody did, did do this? When did somebody do that? Right. So they're interested in anything and everything of this world. So therefore, Lord Krishna says in the Gita that it is very essential to control the mind. The mind can be controlled by two things, as Krishna says. Abhyasena, tyagena, right? So one is by practice and the other one is detachment. So detach yourself externally at least, if not internally, from the things which are pulling you down, right? And do some mantras, like chant some mantras, do some mantra meditation regularly, do some spiritual practices. Uh, read the Bhagavad Gita. That is how you will develop uh, resistance to allurements, right? Because Lord Krishna, he is known as Rishikesh. Rishikesh is the controller of the senses. And the sign Taurus represents our senses, right? So when our senses are out of control, then the mind is disturbed. Then the mind goes to Scorpio, which is debility. And when the mind is peaceful, it's in Taurus, which means our senses are under control, right? So therefore, do not take things to Scorpio when it's in Taurus, right? So therefore... Focus on the long-term vision, have long-term goals, and then try to do things which will be good for you in the long run. All right. Thank you very much for your patience. Patience, patience. <laughs> you made it this far. Incredible. <laughs> very few people do it, you know, so far. All right. And as usual, if you are new to the channel, then please subscribe to it down below. And if you want a consultation from me regarding this transit, then please go to my website down in the description section. God is there with you and he will help you to control the mind as he helped Arjuna to control his mind. All right. Thank you very much.